Refrax Creator Studio is the most intuitive and powerful way to create custom training situations known as arenas. With the ability to share these arenas to the community hub, Refrag has the most extensive library of highly specific and finely tuned training arenas in Counter-Strike. Today, I will be showing you how to create your own custom arenas and how to use the Refrag community hub. First of all, if you are brand new to Refrag, please check out our beginner's guide first to get you up to speed on the basics, and then come back once you are ready to go. So when we first load into a Refrag server to access the Creator Studio, we can simply use the Refrag Server Manager. We simply select Creator Studio as our mod and then select whichever map we want to create our custom arena on. For now, I'm going to select Inferno. Then you simply just click on Load Mod. Alternatively, you can also access the Creator Studio using Refrag's in-game menu. You simply type dot setup, then warm up, and then Creator Studio, and then our map of choice. So now that we have loaded into our map of choice, we can begin to create an arena. Now, if we want to create a set, we would need to create multiple arenas. So let's just start with one arena for now. First, let's open up our menu using the dot menu command. This is where we can manage some of our settings for our arenas. But for now, let's just go to option seven, creator. This is where the magic happens, but without an arena, we won't be able to do anything. So let's quickly add an arena by typing dot add arena, and then the name of our arena. I'm going to be making a B site defender themed arena. So let's just make this first one second oranges. Once we have added an arena, we can start editing it. Let's select option one arenas, and then select the arena we just created from the list. Let's set our spawn point. This is going to be where we spawn in and when we kind of start playing our arena. Since this arena is called second oranges, I'm going to be setting my spawn point to here by selecting option five, add spawn point. Then by selecting option two spawn points, I can edit my spawn settings. Let's first create a zone. A zone is basically the area where we can move around when playing our arena. Now a zone isn't completely necessary as there are a bunch of different modes that you can create without the need for one. But by setting the widest swing for a bot, which we'll do in a second, we will need a zone. So I'll select option four, zone editor, and then set my zone type to box. You can choose any of these different types of zones, but I prefer to use the box setting. Then I simply just aim where I want the corner of my zone to start, and then I I select option one, draw zone. This will allow me to draw my zone box by moving my crosshair. Once I am finished, I select option one, draw zone again to complete the drawing. Now with our spawn set up, we gotta add some bots to fight against. Let's head back to our creator menu and again, select our arena in the menu. Let's get into the heads of our opponents and figure out how we would want to try and frag someone at second oranges. So we simply just position ourselves just before we are visible to anyone peeking from second oranges. And then we want to select option four, add bot. This is going to add a bot where we are standing, but for now, this bot isn't going to be able to do anything. So let's change some settings. Select option one bots, and then our first bot, which will be labeled at index zero. First, let's set the widest swing. Basically, we just want to head back to where we would be defending from, and then pick a position and angle where we would want our bot to swing to if needed. I probably want my bot to be able to peek all the way across here. So once I have positioned myself to fight this, I can simply select option two, set widest swing. Now, by selecting option four, teleport, I can teleport back to my bot's spawn point. And from here, we need to decide on the swing direction. In this case, my bot would have to swing to the right in order to effectively peak my angle. So let's set option three to right. That's the basics, but let's quickly go check our option six bot settings. This includes a bunch of customizable settings for this specific bot. I'm gonna make this bot simply just swing me, so I will disable jumping and jiggling, but I will enable duck first, I need to add a bunch more bots. To do this, we basically just repeat the steps from earlier and of course, from different positions. So fast forward, I've added some more bots, but something I forgot to mention is the creator settings. Let's quickly just hop into our main menu by using the dot menu command. Now we can access option six bot settings. This gives us a ton of different options. We can change the weapons to make pistol arenas, for example, if we wanted, but let's quickly take a look at the next page by selecting option eight next. This is where we take a good arena to an amazing one. First of all, I'm going to enable crouch peeking. This gives us a pretty realistic aim dual scenario. Then I'm going to increase the swing delay to one second. 
This is going to set a time delay between each of the groups swinging to one second, which will make our arena a lot more fun to play instead of just spraying down all the bots instantly, we can take smart fights. I'm also going to head to the next page in this menu and set the reaction time to one second. This should ramp up the difficulty just a little bit, but you can also change this to your own little preferences. So now with all these settings in place, let's play our newly created arena. As you can see, it's pretty awesome stuff, but this is just one arena of a potential set. So I'm quickly gonna create a couple more arenas to add to this set. So I'm back, I've made three more arenas for my set, and now I'm going to save my arenas as a set. We can see the arenas that will be included in our set by accessing our creator menu and then selecting option one arenas. As you can see, I've got these epic arenas to help you practice defending the B side of Inferno from different positions. So let's save our set by typing dot save set and then the name of your set. In this case, I'm going to name it Defender Inferno B side. Now, if you want to share your set with the world, we can publish it to the Refrag Community Hub. To do this, we just access our main menu using dot menu and then select option five, my custom sets. Then by selecting my custom set, I can select option three, publish, and this will now ask you to confirm by typing dot publish set in the text chat. Now you gotta remember that once you publish your set to the community hub, you cannot remove it. So you gotta make sure you are really happy with what you were putting out there. With your content now public on the community hub, other refraggers can play your set and subscribe to it. You can also add a description and add some tags to help refrag users find your content. If you want a custom tag that doesn't quite fit in with the ones that are already included on the refrag community hub, make sure you join the discord and put in a request to add a custom tag. With that said, I hope you can now create some amazing sets and arenas. So thanks for watching and peace out.